Hi everyone, my name is Father Sam Kachuba and welcome to Faith Friday. As we're going through the Easter season, I'm really struck by the way in which in these, in these days following the resurrection, Jesus keeps appearing to his disciples and he keeps coming to them and showing them that he's risen from the dead. Think of the story of the disciples who are on the road to Emmaus. They've already heard that the tomb was empty and they heard that from the women who went and saw it. They heard it from the apostles who went to check it out and yet they're still confused. They're still doubting and so they, they walk away. They go to Emmaus and as they're going along the way, Jesus comes and he appears to them and it's in the breaking of the bread that he's made known to them. They recognize him and they run back to Jerusalem and there they hear that, the, that he's appeared to the other apostles and they're gathered together with the apostles, he appears to them again. And then we read throughout the Easter season these gospel accounts of Jesus coming to visit the apostles and to see them. What it means is that in some way these guys didn't get it. They're trying to understand and as they try to understand they would still doubt, they would still struggle, and so he would come back and he would remind them of, of who he is and why he came in the first place. Well, doesn't Jesus do exactly the same thing with you and with me? See, in our own journey in faith, in our own spiritual lives, we have moments where we're doing really well, where we get it, we see Jesus clearly, we understand that he's risen, we understand his plan for our lives, and, and we're doing great. And then we have these other moments where it seems like we are as far away from God as we could possibly be. Like we don't understand anything at all about him. What this means for us is that understanding the resurrection is not something that just happens. It's not something that we do just one time, but it's an everyday process. Every single day, then, your faith and mine needs to be strengthened. Every single day, we need to be coming into contact with Jesus, who is the risen one. And so every day, we need to set aside that time for prayer. Every day, whether we're struggling or whether we're doing really well, we need that contact with Jesus. The other good news about this is that no matter what happens to the disciples, no matter how much they doubt, no matter how confused they get, Jesus keeps coming to see them. Jesus keeps breaking into their lives so that they can understand this gift of his new life. He comes even though the doors are locked. He comes even though they've gone away and they're out fishing. He comes and he waits for them on the shore. And Jesus is doing the same thing for you and for me. He wants to see us. He wants to be with us. And nothing will get in his way. And he's given us all of the means that we need in order to understand this gift of his resurrection. He's given us the scriptures. He's given us the traditions of the church. He's given us the teaching authority of the church. And most of all, he's given us the sacraments. Through the sacraments, Jesus, the risen one, comes to us again and again. And he breaks through those barriers of our lives, whether it's sin, whether it's distraction. He breaks through so that you and I can come into contact with him. So as we go through this Easter season, I want you to let the risen one meet you wherever you are and let him call you into that deeper faith, into that deeper understanding that he is truly risen from the dead. The tomb is really empty and he wants to be with you and with me. He wants to walk with us in mercy and he wants to guide us always into that deeper faith that lets us know Jesus Christ is truly risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia. God bless you.